And hello, back here at the Tool and Cutter Grinder, grinding boron bars, carbide uh, boron bars. Uh, this uh, here is a, a standard criterion type boron bar. And uh, I ground the, the steel back a little bit from the carbide so I can sharpen it. And uh, the, of course these uh, can be sharpened by hand, but um, with a cutter grinder, you get a consistent edge every time, and it's uh, superior. It, it just is. So I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, put this in here. But don't get me wrong; you can do a good job hand sharpening these things, but it's going to take you a lot longer than it takes me to do this. If I don't lose my scribe, you know, the tight. <laughs> to tighten this thing. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to swing it around here and see where the uh, angle is on this. And right now, on this, it's set at 10 degrees. And I've ground this one before, so it, it, it's close, close to uh, being at 10 degrees. So, I kind of reduce it a little bit. Uh, we checked these on uh, on a surface plate a while back and uh, found that they were about 14 degrees uh, in clearance. It, it, it makes them just a little bit weak, I think. Oh, that looks perfect right there, so we'll call that good. Get this little wrench in there, get this tight. I'm pretty sure we're all good here. Let me double check, make sure we're all good and solid. Everything's good. Good. How are we looking for height? I'm going to go a little bit with the wheel. Right about there. Looks good. Okay, here we go. Roll it in. Now I got a big breeze through here, so I'm, I'm not breathing the car, but um, otherwise I'd have a, a big mass with the filter on. So I got a good circulation uh, going. And you want to keep that in mind, you don't want to breathe this stuff, it's uh, very bad for you. Okay, now we're going very close. Okay, that one sharp, I'm going to set it here with the other sharp one. And I'm going to grab something a little bit more dull. What's with this one over here? Okay. That one's dull. And uh, I use that one a lot, so I'm going to sharpen that one. Now again, this is one of those uh, type, I don't know what you would call it. Um, 
but you can use this in like the uh, more or uh, an Eric intense set uh, boring head that doesn't have a lot of uh, movement. So you make a bar, a bar to compensate for that. And I think I can grab a quite a large diameter here. Closer. Okay. That looks good. Snug that one in there. Good. Okay. And I'm going to swing around. Let's see where we're at on an angle on that one. Now this type of boring bore you can actually use as a fly cutter. Yeah, I'm going to grind it the same as at 10. Kind of a compromise, I guess, a compromise angle. I'm going to put it just like that. And swing this over. Crank the table away. I don't know if it's going to hit the camera or not. Get over here. Looks like we're good. I'm going to swing that like that. Now I can grind this upside down, and it's sometimes easier. But I'm going to grind it like this. And Again, I had quite a bit of uh, angle on that. I'm going to reduce it. I think it uh, doesn't need to be that much. Maybe uh, about seven or something. There we go. I'm going to call that uh, about on time there. Looking good. Okay, this is. Uh, a boring bar that I fabricated, just a piece of scrap steel and a, uh, uh, a carbide blank made that. Let me get this under this side. There we go. Are we snug? We're snug. Looking good. I can't bring that outside of there, so I'm going to start grinding. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Another custom tool. See that? I ground it back here. And you can see the angle here. That's a 10 degrees front clearance. Then uh, the clearance um, for the back side rake is done with the location of the slot versus rotating the center. 
I described that in some earlier uh, videos about uh, basic tool making. And this is not a real pretty looking tool, but I'll tell you what, it's very, very effective. And it can get into some tight areas. Uh, I've used this, like I say, you can use these as fly cutters as well as a boring ball. So it's, they're pretty, pretty versatile, you know, for uh, like repairing castings and things like that. But I have quite a few that I've uh, made like this, and even some pretty large ones. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, just do the same thing and sharpen the rest of the boring bars. I think you, you've seen enough of it, so you're probably bored <laughs> with it with me sharpening boring parts. But I wanted to show you that and uh, just uh, get get uh, folks used to this uh, tool and cutter grinding. And it's uh, it's not an unfriendly machine. You know, it, uh, I, I really enjoy using this thing. It's uh, 80 years old, like some of my other equipment. So, but it's, it's still plenty good. Okay, I'm gonna load uh, this video and uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.